Hi everyone, my name is Anna and welcome to Cactus Caffeine. In this channel, I share with you my passion for growing cactus and other desert plants over a cup of, well today, it's a glass of iced coffee. <laughs> it is summer, it is hot outside. There is an excessive heat warning, so I will be doing a repotting inside the house today. And by the way, the coffee that I am drinking is this one. It's the Starbucks cold brew coffee. It's a concentrate. It is really strong coffee. <laughs> so it is good, but I just had to add some flavors into it because I find it too strong. Anyway, so I have here in front of me an agave. So this is an agave black widow. The full name is Agave Shidigera Black Widow. So I got this <clears throat> agave from Lowe's at a bargain. It was a clearance, so I bought it for less, way, way less than that price. I couldn't find anything wrong with it except there are a few broken leaves at the bottom and a few burnt leaves at the bottom, but it was no big deal. So I haven't repotted this since. I know I should have done this earlier, but I've been procrastinating. So it was, uh, I've been growing this under a tree. That's why there's so many leaves that fell on top of it. So I'm going to repot it. I just want to see what kind of soil it is growing in. And if I have to change it, Plus, I'm not really a big fan of this pot, so I'm going to change the pot as well. Alright, so I'm thinking of a faster way to remove these leaves. But they're not falling. <laughs> they're really hanging on to the agave. So there is no quick way to do this, but we just have to be patient. The ends of this agave is very sharp. <laughs> so you got to be careful. So I finally took off uh, most of the leaves. Now we are going to remove this agave in this pot and we'll see what kind of soil it is in. So sometimes if I see that the soil is actually good or okay, I don't really change all of the soil. I just add on to it maybe. But for this one, let's see. Because I found this in a big box store and usually if it's from a big box store, the soil is not typically what I prefer it to be. So I can see the soil has a lot of big pumice in it and that is good. And let's see, ooh, nice big roots on this one. I actually don't know what kind of pot I will use yet because I have no idea how extensive the root system of this is. So. I will decide after I see what I'm dealing with here in terms of its root structure. All right, so it is still a little bit wet because I actually watered all my plants yesterday. So yesterday was my watering day. And uh, that's why it's still a little bit wet. So this soil that they use is chunky. <laughs> it has big pumice and big pieces of bark. Okay. Agaves normally are not very um, sensitive when it comes to the soil. They will thrive in poor soil as long as you don't keep it wet all the time. So that's the only thing that will most likely kill them is if you keep the soil wet all the time but otherwise they will thrive even in poor soil so 
So I'm using this to loosen the roots and the soil. I've been looking it up online and studying more about this kind of agave. There is not much information about the black widow. So there are information about the agave, the agave shidigera, but it looks like there are different kinds or hybrids, I don't know, under the shidigera. And for black widow, there is not much information. But agave shidigera, based on what I read, are usually solitary, so they don't form pops like other agaves do. So they're usually solitary, which is good. It is a compact agave. It only grows about one, one to two feet in height and about 18 inches in diameter. Not like the other agaves that you see out in the desert that grows like five, six feet tall and six feet wide. <laughs> so this will remain compact the only thing is um, this is monocarpic which means that eventually it will flower and when it produces that flower it is actually the end of its life so they call it the death bloom so when it blooms that's the only time that most probably it will form pups for survival or you can get the seeds from the bloom stalk and that's how you propagate it but we're going to see before that happens it will take many years before hopefully before i see the bloom spike or the death spike on this one a pot that I think would fit this agave so I have this terracotta pot it's glazed at the bottom and I think this is just perfect height for it yes all right so we're going to use this one so I have my soil bucket in here so I don't make my own soil I just buy uh, readily available soil in stores or bagged soil and then I just make my own adjustments to it if I want it more gritty or more rich so it's up to your preference some um, if you can if you have the ability to make your own soil then that is very good but I don't <laughs> I mean I don't have all the resources available to me here that's why I opted to just buy soil straight out of a bag all right ouch I think the reason why they call this black widow is because of the fibers that you see on the leaves see those fibers they look like spider webs or cobwebs this agave doesn't have teeth on the side of the leaves unlike most of the agaves instead of the teeth it has this like filaments that resembles a spider web i am going to add some slow release fertilizer in the soil because i believe the soil that i used 
right now doesn't have any added fertilizer to it sometimes i add worm casting if i have it that's what i add to the soil worm casting right and this we're just gonna fill up the pot make sure the roots are covered all right so i have a few agaves in my collection not too many because i'm trying to just collect those agaves that remain compact so there are many agaves that grow very big and i don't have space for that in my backyard so the agaves that i have so far are all the small types or small varieties i'm just gonna give it a little bit of a tap and shake make sure the soil is settled in the bottom and there's no air pockets in between the roots okay maybe a little more soil on the top and we are almost done all right and then the last thing that i will do is just add some top dressing so i chose this red lava rocks which i think will look good in this red pot so this is not necessary but i like using top dressing because when i water it prevents the soil especially the perlite and the pumice if there are perlite and pumice in your soil they're usually light and they would float to the top and spill over your pot when you water so i like adding top dressing just to keep the soil in place plus it also looks nicer instead of seeing dirt underneath all right so if you guys like this video make sure you give me a thumbs up and uh, visit me in my facebook page it's cactus caffeine as well as in my instagram it's cactus caffeine usa so in there i post pictures of my plants and what's going on in my collection sometimes i'm not able to make videos but you'll see some updates there on especially on facebook and um flower pictures in instagram all right i think we are good to go okay so this is it guys this is my agave black widow okay so i think i will just uh, oh i'll just clip some more of the ends here and a little bit in here some actually snip all the tips of the agaves because they don't like the sharp or the pointed ends especially if you have this in um in your garden in walkways i see a lot of uh houses or buildings here in vegas they snip the the ends so as not to poke people when as they walk or as they pass by <laughs> But I won't be doing that. I'm just snipping the, the ones that are brown and the ends. There you go. Looking much, much better. All right, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. And until next time, bye and iced coffee. Cheers.